in this video, we're going to talk about how to find the length of an arc uh, formed by an, a central angle or uh, the area of a sector or finding the circumference or the area, depending on the measures that we have. So let's look at the first problem. Find the length of an arc AB formed by a central angle of 95 degrees in a circle that has a diameter of 28 centimeters. So the first thing I think we always uh, should be doing is drawing a picture of what the informations are. So if I identify on my picture, I have a central. So I have my center, I'm going to call my center O, and I have an arc AB formed by a central angle of 95 degrees. So let's have this. 90 degree would be like this, which is a little bit more than 90 degree. So I have A, O, B, and the central angle is always here in the middle. That's 95 degrees. And I'm looking for the arc. So the arc is this here. That's what I'm looking for. And we know the diameter is 28 centimeters. So the diameter is the whole thing here. The diameter is 28 centimeters. So you have to remember that if you know the whole diameter, you are able to calculate the radius because the radius is always the diameter, but we divide it by two. So our radius here would be 14 centimeters. Now let's try to look at the formula that we know. So I wrote uh, the, the formula that you should know is that the central angle is equal to the measure of the arc if you know that the 360 degree is equal to the circumference, like if you look at the proportion that we have, or you can say that the central angle over 360 equals the measure of the arc over the circumference. So what do we have in this situation? So we know the central angle, we know the measure, uh, no, we don't know the measure of the arc. Do we know the circumference? No, but we can find that out. So let's find the circumference. So to find the circumference, we're going to write C is equal to uh, pi times our diameter. So the formula would be 2 times pi times r. And then, um, well, no, actually, sorry, here they give us the diameter. So it's going to be pi times d. So C is equal to pi times the diameter is 28. So C is equal to 87.96 centimeters. So now we can use our formula and plug it in with what you know. Like, so our step one was to find the circumference. Our step two is going to be to apply the formula. Okay, we're going to take the formula here. So the central angle is 95 over 360 that has to be equal to the measure of the arc. We don't know the measure of the arc, so I'm going to call it x. So x over the circumference, which is 87.96. If you want, you can even be more precise and leave the 28 pi. Now we are looking for x. So if you remember what we did earlier when we add proportions like this, is we would do 360 times x has to equal um, 95 times 87.96. So I'm going to write it like this. 360 times x has to equal 95 times 87.96. And you are looking for x, so x is your unknown here, and it's time by 360. So how do you get rid of times by 360? The opposite of time is divide, so you have to divide by 360 on both sides of your equation. So you're going to get x is equal to, and then you take your calculator and you do 95 times 87.96 and you divide by 360, and you should get 
23.21 centimeters. So that the length, we can write it like this, measure of arc AB. And when it's an arc, you put it like this. This is equal to 23.21 centimeter. That's your answer here. All right. Another type of problem you can have is find the measure of the central angles that creates an arc of 20 centimeter in a circle that has a circumference of 120 centimeter. So first thing, you should draw a picture. So we're looking for the central angle. So we're not really sure how big is our central angle. So I don't really know, but I'm going to put like a certain angle like this. I know that my arc here is 20 centimeters. I'm looking for the central angle. So this is my X. And I know that the whole circle, like the whole circle around all of it, my circumference is 120 centimeters. So let's go. I'm just going to recopy our formula. So. If I look at my formula, I just have now to substitute with the things I know. The central angle, I don't know. That's my x. So x over 360 equals the measure of my arc. That's my 20 centimeter over my circumference. That's my 120 centimeters. Now, how do we solve this? So remember, we have to do this times this equals this times this. So 120 times x, I can write it like this, 120 times x is equal to 360 times 20. Now what I'm doing is I'm looking for my x here, and x is times by 120. To get rid of it, the multiplication, I need to do the opposite. So I need to divide by 120. If I do it on this side, I have to do it on the other side. So then to find my x, I'm going to write x is equal. And then you take your calculator and you do 360 times 20 divided by 120. And that gives you 60. The question was find the measure of the central angle. So the central angle is the central angle is 60 degree. That's that would be your final answer. The central angle is 60 degree. This one was a little bit quicker because they give us already the, the circumference. We didn't have to find it. What else could they ask you is they can ask you about the sector. So the sector is about the same thing, but instead of using the circumference, we're going to use the area of the disk. So let's look at this problem. Find the area of sector AOB created by a central angle of 205 degree in a circle that has a diameter of 55 centimeters. So let's first look at our problem. So my center is here. I'm going to call my center O. And let's say I have my A here, so I have A, O, and D is 205. So remember, when we're doing in a straight line, this is 180 degree, so 205 is a little bit more, okay? So my angle A, O, B is here. This is my central angle of 205 degree. Uh, my diameter is 55, I'm going to write it here, the diameter is 55 centimeters. And remember, if you need to find the radius, to find the radius, you just have to take this diameter and you divide by 2. So you would get the radius of 27.5 centimeters. So that's if you need to use the radius. So now let's look at the formula. So the formula is, a, is similar to the other one, except instead of using the line around, we're doing the inside. Okay, so the sector, we're looking for the area here of the sector AOB. So that's what we're looking for here, the area. That's our X, that's what we're looking for. 
uh, here, the area of a sector, that's what we're looking for. Um, do we have the area of the disk? No, so let's do that. So step number one, find area of the disk. How do we find the area of the disk? We need to start with the formula. So the formula is pi r squared. So pi, area is pi times r squared. So always write down your formula and then on the next line you replace with the things you know. So pi, the radius we said it was 27.5 and we need to square that. So square. And then you take your calculator and you just do that. So you should get 2375.83 if we round to the nearest hundred centimeter square because we're doing area. So that was our step number one. And then step number two, what we're going to do is we're going to use our formula and then we're going to plug in the things that we know. So step number two, let's use our formula here. So the central angle is 205 over 360. It's going to give you the same fraction as the area of a sector that we don't know over the area of the full disk, which is 2375.83. Oops, I don't have a lot of space. Let me fix that. Now, how do we solve fractions like this? We know this times this, so 360 times x has to be equal to 205 times. 2375.83. So we're going to write it like this 360x has to equal 205 times 2375.83. Now we're looking for x here, and x is times 360. So how do we get rid of times 360? We have to divide by 360. If I do it on the left side, I have to do it on the right side as well. So now it's time where you take your calculator, because you notice I didn't take my calculator until now, and then you type on your calculator 205 times 2375.83, and then you divide by 360. So you have 1,352.90. They want you to round to the nearest 190. All right, and so the question was find the area of the sector. So when you write your answer, the area of the sector A, O, B is 1,352.90 centimeter square. Don't forget to write your unit. Okay. So now we found the area of the sector. What if they give you the area of the sector and we're looking for the whole area? So that's the last problem we're going to do. Find the area of the disk if you know the area of the sector. So imagine that you have a sector created by an angle of 55 degrees. So something like this. I have 55 degrees here. And I know that the area of that disk, so, uh, sorry, the area of that sector here, this is 30 centimeters squared. I'm going to write my formula again, and let's write what we're looking. We're looking for the area of the disk, so that's going to be my x. So look at your formula. The central angle, we know it's 55 over 360 equals the area of the sector. We know because they're telling you here the area of the sector is 2D, so I can put 2D here. But the area of the disk, I don't know. This is my x. 
okay? And this is where now you have to remember how to solve this. So 55 times x has to equal 360 times 3d. So you can write it down like this, 55x equals 360 times 3d. Now, if you're looking for x, it is times 55. So how do you get rid of times 55? The opposite of times 55 is divide by 55. If you do it on this side, you divide on this side as well. So x is equal to 360 times 3d divided by 55. You should get 196 point. And here, if they ask you to round to the nearest 100. So you should round to 36. When they ask you find the area of the disk, then your answer should be the area of the disk is 196.36 and your unit should be centimeter and square because we are doing area. Hope you're gonna have fun now practicing with part of circles, so area of sectors or arcs. Have fun. <laughs>